Good day everyone and welcome to a first look at Prison Architect. Today the version I'm going to be using is Alpha 17. Uh, as you can see from the name it's uh, still in Alpha and therefore it's heavily in development. It's not out yet, well at least not officially. Uh, the game although in Alpha is very well made as you can see it has um, many of the very good characters of any game that's out right now and seeing that it's an alpha definitely means that you're gonna get a lot for what you're gonna pay uh, this game is just like any other tycoon game uh, where you get to build something to be as big as possible try to earn the most amount of money as possible and be the best of the best so with that said let's get started uh, in this game as you can see you have a to-do list uh, over here on this timer it shows that your first prisoner intake will be in tw 22 hours and 50 minutes and uh, over here you have a clock showing you what time it is the day is shown here as well as how much your current balance is you can also uh, pause the time and also speed up the time depending on how you want to play the game uh, if you want to do it as a turn-based game then you would pause the time do uh, say out all your functions and then um, after that continue um, so first of all let's start out with building a foundation uh, in this game you require foundation in order to do many uh, in order to build any of the rooms required uh, it's generally the uh, basic structure of any room uh, first I'm going to start off with the utilities because you require uh, power and water for all of the facilities to work uh, correctly so right now I'm building a power station the power station also requires capacitors. These allow you to later on um, add uh, a lot of electronics and well, lights and everything to your prison. As you can see, uh, just by adding the power station, I basically ran out of money. That's because a uh, well, power station is really expensive and you don't need this many as I just did. Uh, another great thing about Tycoon games is that there are grants that you could get. Uh, in this case, they, I would get a $40,000 grant to build a basic detention center. Uh, when you accept that grant, you then are given these uh, requirements that you must meet in order to uh, be uh, qualified for that grant. Um, so, I need to build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, kitchen, and canteen, as well as hiring two guards and two chefs, which is generally the most basic person you can get so now that I've had the power in and I think more than enough uh, for our, our standards I'm gonna put in a water pump as well because that's the next thing you're gonna need and uh, after this I'm going to add the doors for the utility room now this since this room is actually not going to be accessed by prisoners and uh, from my plan is going to be on the outside of the prison uh, it doesn't need any kind of uh, jail door or any, anything like that it could just have a basic door uh, next uh, from my design what I want is to have the electrical cable coming from underneath the, the main hallway as I'm gonna make it as well as with the same with the water as well so I'm just going to put those pipes in. Uh, this also needs power, so you need to supply power for the water station. Okay, next, uh, since we have 20 hours to go for the holding cell, that's what we're going to do next. Um, and since it's part of our uh, requirement as for the grant, it's going to be much better for us. Uh, so I'm going to start with building a foundation for the holding cell. It doesn't have to be too big, uh, keeping in mind that you know everything you build will use up your money. So uh, for any beginners, it's always good to start with the least resources possible and then expanding later on. Uh, what I really like about the game is the attention to detail, the fact that they, the creator has added so much functions in, into such a early version of the game it's quite uh, amazing to see how much they've done uh, 
in the first intake I can see that there will be eight prisoners arriving so I, I just need to have about eight beds but if not it could even be around six it doesn't matter because uh, this will be a temporary location holding cells require uh, beds as well as uh, benches and uh, toilets uh, so I'll be adding uh, those things in uh, you can rotate items as you wish um, so now when, when you add a room next thing you need to do is to also give it a door because once the foundation is done the workers are not able to get into the room since this is a holding cell I know it needs to have a jail door and uh, in this case I'm going to put in a large jail door Um, also, since this will be a room that will have many uh, prisoners going in and out, I will also add in um, a metal detector in front of the doors to make sure that none of the prisoners have any uh, anything hidden, contraband or weapons or anything like that. Now that we have the the holding cell complete or almost complete in progress uh, I'm going to build the next required one which is a shower a yard and uh, I believe the canteen and the kitchen so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the canteen and kitchen I'm gonna build it on the opposite side uh, because that will give me an essentially a hallway that I could work with uh, I think that should be good enough for both now uh, I also need to uh, bring through the utilities for each of the rooms so for example right here you can see this room is, has no power right now so none of there would be no lights so I need to bring um, the electrical cable through and I also need to uh, uh, bring in the water as well Uh, the water actually requires a, a system of both large and small pipes so um, I normally use the large pipes to get the majority of the water down the hallway and then use the smaller pipes to bring them into the individual rooms so now let me just uh, start preparing the kitchen as well so another thing you need to do is assign each room uh, their uh, duty so for example since this is going to be a holding cell I will be um, giving this entire room the holding cell uh, identity it will be used in that way uh, I will also since uh, I'm using this for kitchen and uh, canteen I could also do the same thing where I'm going to just split it in half and use half for kitchen and half for canteen while I'm waiting I'll add a uh, entrance for this I, I'm just going to add a jail door that way uh, in order to enter and exit from the canteen uh, they are going to require the assistance from staff uh, speaking of staff since my requirements uh, include ad hiring two guards and two chefs that's what I'm going to do uh, so just hire two guards and uh, cooks now I'm gonna put in a wall in between these two I think a brick wall would be fine and uh, this side I'm going to make into a kitchen and this side into a canteen so kitchen and then the other side into a canteen so now each of these as you can see when I made this area into that specific thing it gives me um, kind of an idea of what I need in those rooms so right now the kitchen requires a fridge a cooker and a sink also a door um, so I'm gonna make sure I put those in as well jail door is gonna go here uh, sink a 
bridge. Uh, and a sink, I believe, yeah. So once these things are placed in, then those become, uh, that room becomes complete. I also need a serving table and a bench. The serving table will become, will be this, uh, and bench and a table. So I'm going to get a Okay, so once those things are added, I'm um, ready to proceed again. Um, so while this is coming together, I need to uh, make sure that the other rooms are uh, complete and ready to go when the prisoners come in 11 hours. So um, I need to add, first of all, I'm going to make a, turn this area into the yard. That way it can act as both the yard and the hallway between areas. To do that I'm going to add a, a brick wall between these two uh, locations to cut this area off from the rest of the outside. I will also add a prison door or large jail door uh, into the front as well as uh, again two more um, metal detectors so that I can make sure whoever is coming in and out of the prison uh, does not take any or bring in any uh, weapons or anything like that. Okay guys, so I just jumped forward um, just to see, uh, let all the building get done. Uh, but I've gone into a small bug. It's not a really a big bug, it's just uh, the workers the workmen right here, they need to build this door in order to complete the rest, go inside and so on. They won't, it's queued, this job is queued, however, they need to do these ones first in order to get to this job. So it's kind of in a problem where they're going in a loop trying to figure out how to do the job, but they can't. Uh, it's not a difficult thing to do, I could just prioritize a different job in front, um, break one of these walls or put in the door and then They'll get those jobs done and then get, go back to where they are. Uh, but since we're running out of time, I think I'm just going to end here. I think I gave a quick look at the game, the mechanics, and how it works. Uh, in overall, I think this is a really good game and has a lot of potential. And it's definitely a game I see myself spending hours playing. Um, and I really do hope that you guys check it out as well. Uh, if you see any bugs, again, remember it's still in uh, alpha, so... I assume by the time it comes out into a uh, final release, it'll be very nicely polished and end up being a really good game. So um, I want you guys to uh, definitely check it out if you have the time. Uh, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. So until next time, peace.